right, let's try again here. Everybody, welcome to Grinding It Up episode 111. This was the third time, I think, that my microphone was muted and I was trying to talk to you guys and you guys were trying to read my lips, which is a fun task, but I guess uh, we'll try and not do that in the future again. So welcome to Grinding It Up episode 111. I'm going to do this intro once again, just for everybody who was trying to read lips. A um, couple of things that I wanted to talk about. First of all, this is going to be a very fast and quick episode, fast paced, because the task that we've got to complete today is uh, playing five spin and goes um, to get a ticket to the all in shootout. So that's what we're going to do for today's episode. I already played uh, a couple sessions of um, Deep Stack Anti Poker this morning and I streamed a little bit of it. So. Uh, whenever you're around and you see me going live, it might be the case that I'm streaming with whole cards, some 25 or 50 ml deep stack poker, uh, which was a lot of fun. And I'm aiming at grinding up the bankroll to get to that 8K a little bit faster. Because in the upcoming days and weeks, I thought that, you know, it's winter, summer is over, got a little bit more, of t more, of, more time here and there. So I should dedicate a little bit more energy into grinding it up and doing this live stream project with you guys, recording more episodes and... Uh, finally getting to uh, the 8k that we're we're gunning after that we've been gunning after since last summer Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a quick episode because I'm in a rush I got to go to uh, To have an appearance on the poker school online podcast, which you guys will be able to check out later this week and uh, We're going to talk about what's coming up next on poker stars, which you can see right there. It's team online week is coming up by the way we're officially now Team Pro Online. Team Online Pro or Team Pro Online. I don't know which way, but one of these. <laughs> and we also have a new Team Online member who is Lady Mace 86 a full ring grinder, a female full ring grinder, by the way, 100 and now. Um, you can follow her on Twitter already and check out what she's doing. And uh, you guys will have a chance to also apply for Team Online membership just within the frames of this Team Online week. So that's going to come up. And uh, there's another, there's there's other fun stuff coming up. So uh, it's, it's going to be an awesome week next week for sure. Um, there is going to be a Zoom promotion, which we had last year. That was tons of fun. So you can play Zoom with us Team Onliners. At 4NL, it's going to be a special 2 cent, 4 cent pool. Um, I think it's going to be quite similar to last year. And last year's people did win uh, tons of money, I think. So there's a lot of free money up for grabs. You can win a PCA package for PCA 2015. I will be there for sure. Um, so uh, we can meet up for a beer. Um, and you can play the PCA if you get there. So that's that's nice. Uh, there's a lot of stuff for you to to get at to get at so uh, you know PCA package the Zoom pool and you can also apply for Team Online membership if you're um, if you're a grinder on PokerStars and you're looking for sponsorship that's your chance you know if you're successful if you're active in a community if you have a project if you have a, a following uh, put yourself out there and go and apply for Team Online membership and you might be on the team with me and with Lady Mason with all the other guys with Ike, <laughs> so that's great. You know, this guy's Ike, by the way. Um, so yeah, go and check out all the, the infos on the um, Team Pro Online week. And apart from that, let's get rolling and let's keep grinding it up here uh, with the grinding it up bankroll. Today's task is the daily challenge. We are trying to play five spinning goes. So that should be over quite quickly. I'm gonna do the spinning going it up uh, principle. So I'll start with a $1 spin and go. If I win that, I'll go to the $3 one. If I win that, I'll go to the $7 one and so on and so forth uh, until we finally hit the, the $30 one. They have done us very good. So far, we've won like 300 bucks for the grinding it up bankroll just with $30 spin and go. So that's nice. Okay, no more talking. Let's, let's get going. And by the way, please help me out as always. Uh, Retweeting, sharing, uh, gathering the gang through social media. If you can share, if you can retweet, uh, I would really appreciate any support I can get. We can get. So let's get started on today's episode, shall we? Windows capture. This one should move. Okay, so 
gotta click that all right so first of all we will have to start the challenge start the daily challenge here we go start button zero of five completed let's go to spinning goes and unclick that and then register for a spinning go and be very fast because you guys definitely want to see the spin i think the spin is the most the most fun part about the spinning go actually so let's see uh spinning go entire window yeah ah uh, i just barely missed it hope it's all right okay let's start with a two dollar spinning go shall we right so king six is an open on the button we have a king we have a blocker we have a blocker that's nice having a blocker is always nice all right is the chat working everybody and we're gonna go with our super small sized continuation bet uh we're gonna go with another one i think i would have want to make it this a little bit bigger i would have ma wanted to make it 40. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a misclick too bad I'm gonna fold all right all right all right let's try and win this one i really want to be moving up to the 30 dollars sitting the spinning goes all right so pocket jacks he opens three x i don't think he's gonna fold so we're just gonna rip it oh he folds no don't fold sir how can you fold this is a spin and go. You're supposed to call this when you open 3x. How can you do that to us? I'm still going to go ahead and bet the, the min because he folds. Yeah, I was expecting that. I was definitely expecting that. 3-4 offsuit. He limps on the button. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but, you know, I hit two pairs. So that, that's what happens when you limp. That's what happens when you limp on the button. You get outdrawn. And I'm just going to go ahead and bet 20, 20, 20 and hope that he has like a four. I mean, now he's trying to tell us he has pocket fives or better. I don't buy it. I think he's got to have a four as well. And he actually has deuces. So we win this one. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, but he probably thought that he had a full house and full house could have been good. So I don't have a delay today, by the way, because of the spinning goal structure there is no need for a delay i mean unless you guys specifically hit a spinning goal with me together which would be a shame but i couldn't help it i'm gonna check this down all right all right all right and check down my pair of fives maybe it's good i don't believe it yes it's good wow <laughs> i mean insane what kind of hands are good today uh yeah Pocket Kings, I think uh, I got to jam this. He's probably going to call. Yeah, he does. So we're just going to win that flip. And we do with spades. Yeah, that was definitely Zebo's theorem. Zebo's theorem says nobody ever folds a full house. But there should be another theorem saying like, why would you raise your bottom full house for value? <laughs> That's true, yeah. But, you know. He was raising it for value or as a bluff maybe i don't know so we hit her gut shot we don't have a gut shot but we hit her gut shot we could hit it on the turn uh he bets half pot i think i'm just gonna go ahead and fold he doesn't seem the like the foldy type of guy ace jack uh definitely jamming i mean i don't even know if jamming is a good play i'm just gonna make it a small three bet just hope that he jams himself or you know does something silly yeah, that's fine. Ripping is fine because we can call. We have the better hand. Yeah. Oh, no. We need an ace. Now we both got a boat. That's so lucky. <laughs> I wanted to move up to the $3 spinning goals already. So, yeah. Now we raise ace queen. We're going to bet the minimum. He's probably going to fold. He doesn't. So I don't think he's going to fold on the 8 on the turn much. So I'm going to take my free card here. A zip of coffee which is also pretty important <clears throat> borderline doesn't like spinning goals i love them i think they're great i just love playing them drink breaks fast paced action you have the spin for excitement you can win a lot of money we already won 300 bucks so for grinding it up purposes for grinding it up bankroll it was great the spinning go won us 300 bucks for the bankroll 
I think like the biggest jackpot chance is probably at the higher levels because less people play them. But I'm not sure about this. This I could be wrong on this. <laughs> I mean, I'm no expert on math, by the way. I love them. I love them. No, don't hate the spinning goals. I love them. Ace four, raising, and hit a two pair hand, half pot. Should have bet smaller here. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Borderline. Okay, I appreciate that comment. No offense, but you were you were you were gonna win three hundred bucks no matter what game you played. <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's pretty cool and flattering. Thanks, sir. <laughs> but still, I mean, spinning goes are nice. I don't know. I'm just gonna bluff this river. I think he might. Wow, he was he was slow playing aces. <laughs> Queen five unfolding. Now he has the lead. That's too bad. Actually, back to differ, I think they are beatable, even though they have high variance. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, really, really soft and uh, a lot of action that really can, if you do it correctly, I think you can, you can generate a huge edge. Not a huge, but like a very, very big edge. And that's, that's great. I think that's even... I mean, yeah, I'm just going to bet three streets for value here with my nine. I think it's going to be... The kicker is going to play. And the king eight I'm going to fold. Nice. Welcome to the stream, that petty. If you're first timer. Uh, going to call the eight six, I think. And keep on raising. Keep on min raising. And min betting. I love this. People are just folding a lot to these min bets. Now I just got a call. I have an over card. I have a, a gut shot to the nut. Not really the nuts, but close to the nuts. Now it's going to get interesting. Half pot. I think, I think I'm going to call. And probably not folding the river. I mean, he could have an eight, yes, but he could also be bluffing. I just hope that he's bluffing and he's bluffing. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, I definitely get your point, borderline. I definitely get the point. No worries. But I do think, you know, maybe I uh, phrased it not correct. But I feel like these things, people play, make a lot of mistakes in these that they wouldn't do in other tournaments, like, you know, shoving left and right, of course. This is a lot of variance. But if you do it correctly, if you just see a lot of flops and cause people to make these mistakes, I think you can actually get a little bit more out of it. Uh, that's a lot of variance for sure. But we did win. So that's the first one. Let's move up to the next one. Three bucks. Three bucks into another spinning go. Next one coming up. And still no jackpot. But at least we managed to move up. <clears throat> Just gonna raise small blind versus big blind. That's pretty nice. <laughs> it's ep episode 111, you should drink a shot every, every hand you win. <laughs> well, I got my coffee, that's for sure. Uh, this is interesting. I mean, he's probably going to have an ace very often. Uh, I think I'm just going to jam. I don't think he's going to fold an ace there. I don't even think he's bluffing there all that often. So let's just rip the four. Oh, he does fold. Yeah, yeah. I also think that the three-handed dynamic is something that a lot of people aren't used to. And that switches up game dynamics a ton. Now he jams. Uh, ace three is a little bit close, so I'm just gonna fold. Definitely, uh, I'm not trying to make you look like the bad guy, borderline. I just say that I like the spinning goals, and I definitely can take the point if some people don't enjoy it as much, for sure. 
everybody is entitled to their opinion for sure. I enjoy the action a lot and I, I love spinning goals. I gotta admit. I can't lie. And I keep playing <laughs> I keep I, I like when I have a break and from cash games, uh, I just play them a ton. <laughs> Episode 111, that's like, uh, in, in German you call that a Schnapszahl. Um, I don't know what the, what the term is in English, help me out on this one guys. Schnapszahl? Like a weird number or like a number that, goofy number. We're just gonna let these guys kick each other out. <clears throat> All right, let's just keep raising heads up now. That's pretty cool action. Yeah, please keep the chat friendly, guys. No swearing, no bad words. Just spread the love. <laughs> Post. Cheers. Post means cheers. That's the German word. I'm just gonna let him bluff. I think he's gonna bluff. He bluffed last. He, he did bluff last time, so I'm gonna let him do that. Now he bets 120. That's gonna get interesting. Hmm. I'm not even sure if he's bluffing now. It looks like he got there on me. But to be honest, I can't really fold an ace at that point. So you know, there's some draws out there. So I'm just gonna rip it. Maybe he has something like two pair. Oh, he has 10-8. That's nice for us. So. We are close to winning the $3 one as well. And hope we win this. Uh, Jack-9, I think I could just peel. I mean, I don't have fold equity if I jam, so. And I'm folding this flop. And King-I, I'm going to jam for sure. He has Jack-I, so we need to win this one to move up. And we do. So next stop, <laughs> maybe we'll get in this episode. Maybe we'll finally manage to just move up right within within the time span of five spinning goes. Move up to the thirty dollars spinning goes. So the next one is going to be a seven dollars spinning go. Spin it up, dealer. Let's get spinning. Come on, twenty eight. That's sweet. So. 28 bucks up for grabs for the grinding it out bankroll isn't that sweet hello mafia crew welcome to the stream and welcome everybody else uh gonna three bet the ace nine here pretty easy three bet and please don't forget to help me retweet share my post gather the gang by the way um what do you guys think about some regular tournaments um during live streams. I mean, I, I think you enjoy that for sure. So uh, I'm gonna set up some regular home game tournaments in the home game club, 874748, password Fishige Spieler. Don't forget to join. <clears throat> this was a $7 spinning goal, so it's four times the, the buy-in. Uh, I'm gonna set up a couple of tournaments to play during the stream. Nice, we picked that one up. Um, it's gonna be like one dollar buy-in, two dollar buy-in tournaments, so it should be fun, I guess, for the gang. <laughs> Bing bang, the whole gang. <laughs> That's right. I'm spinning it for the grinding it up bankroll. That's also right. Yes. <laughs> oh, owner of the slogan "Family Bankroll" is here. Hashtag Family Bankroll. Uh, the Family Bankroll suffered a, a little bit of a loss over uh, the course of the weekend. So uh, that's also one of the reasons why I decided to kind of start out uh, over the, the start of the week. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to call here. Uh, I decided to do some um, deep stack poker uh, this morning at the lower stakes and grind up the bankroll more. So, yeah, I guess you, you guys are definitely uh, profiting from me having like a little bit of a downswing or a bad stretch at my regular stakes, which means that I'm going to be more likely to play um, to play uh, for the grinding it up bankroll, so that should be pretty nice. We, we, we flop a gut shot with two. We we we, we flop a gut shot with two overcards. We just keep bearing. Now we got a double gut shot, and we hit the gut shot. 
we hit the gut shot. The question is, how much money money are we gonna make on this river? I think I'm gonna make 80 bucks. And I don't think he's gonna call 200, so. And I'm also stuttering a little bit. To overcome this awkward moment, I'm going to bet this flop. I don't know why I'm betting this. And checking back this turn. Uh, hey, Svantje, where to get the info about coaching? Uh, go on my page, grindingitup.com slash coaching. Grindingitup.com. Check out the infos about coaching and contact me if you would like to be coached. Have a private lesson. Gonna jam the king. May you explain to me this team bankroll? Oh, family bankroll. No, uh, somebody coined the term family bankroll, hashtag family BR, which is the family, the role that I'm paying the bills with. The role, the role that I'm playing 200 and L, 500 and L, you know, the higher stakes uh, that I'm trying to, uh, to pay the bills with, withdrawing the money to pay the bills with. Oh no, he's free rolling us. No, no diamond. No, please. No. Oh. What a sweat. Man. <laughs> but it looks like we have this under control. And we're not folding. I hate folding, so we're gonna call a queen jack. And hope we hold with a jack. Hold, no, king. It's going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, setting up some play money stuff? For sure, I can do that. That's no problem. Wow, he flops. A Wow, he flops the straight. We need a king. Ah, come on. <laughs> we definitely need a king there. Now we're back to 500. We, we, we were so close to taking this down already. But we still got a lot of chips left. Uh, so setting up some play money games I will do for sure. Do you worry about your image changing gears in these types of games or is all of, all about the aggression just better given the form is all out aggression just better given the format? You mean uh, the image in these uh, spinning goals or in my regular games? In my regular games most of the guys know me anyways. I've been playing with a lot of them for years. So, uh there's no real change in there, but yeah, it's definitely you know, some stuff definitely has changed in the in the smaller stakes games, but you know it kind of evens out. Um, some people get tighter, some people get looser. Some people love to bluff me, some people shy away. So you know it evens out, and I just gotta make sure I figure out who's who and who's doing what and why. So yeah, I mean, if you're referring to these, of course, I'm just usually playing my my standard game. Try to be pretty solid, not overly aggressive. A lot of people in the stream tonight. Ninety-seven people. Let's see if we can if we can uh, make it past one hundred. Also, get I'm gonna make sure I don't uh, I don't miss out on my spot in the um, in the Poker School Online podcast. All right. Okay, this is a fold. Now, we're heads up with Chrissy. Oh yeah, I saw that. I missed the stream yesterday. I mean, I would love to get more and more people into the streaming because streaming is really awesome. I enjoy it a lot and I hope you guys do too. Oh, that's a pretty sweet turn. We're just gonna go bet, bet, bet. Oh yeah. Definitely hope that we can we can manage to get more people into the Twitch poker streams. Now this is a uh, so and so flop. I'm still gonna bet if he checks, but I'm probably gonna fold. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, four deuce, I'm going to check. 
no reason to do anything else here, just check fold. Uh, the spin at the beginning is the buy-in that's the stakes. The stakes is seven bucks, yeah, uh, and you spin it up for uh, sometimes more, sometimes just 14. 14 is the minimum spin, um, and if you hit a jackpot or a bigger buy-in, uh, a bigger price pool, like this one, it's 28, so. I don't know what he's trying to tell me here, but I think I'm going to raise this. I don't think he has anything. I think when he donks like that, he just bluffs a lot. So I'm just going to raise here. I think that should work very, very often. Wow. That is too bad. We got a fold. I was so sure you would be donk folding there, but you, know, you never know. Now this is probably, hopefully, the hand that we double up with. Ace queen against seven six. Ace or queen. Queen is good. Yep, that works. That does the job. And now we're back in business. My read was off a little in the last hand. Well, this is actually a decent flop because it'll frequently miss him. Now, <laughs> I donks again, but you know I don't want to raise again. I think like he expects me to raise a little bit, so. And I'm going to check and bet this flop. I think he's going to fold fairly often here. <clears throat> Maybe I've missed it and you explained it. How did you become a team online member based on what? Yeah, I've talked about this a, a lot and very, very often in different episodes and also uh, in the Poker School online live streams. But I'll talk about it again if you guys like. I enjoy talking about this. That's fine. You know, I've been a... Um, Poker, uh, a trainer and a teacher for Poker School Online and Intelli Poker, which is the German Poker School Online, for a long, long time since 2008. You know, I started playing professionally around that time too, uh, and I also started taking up that uh, training coaching job uh, at Poker School, where we did we ran regular live training classes, uh, pretty much like three times a week. So it was a little bit like twitching, like using Twitch actually. Uh, so I really enjoy doing Twitch now because it's quite similar to what I did at, you know, I still do at Poker School Online and Intelli Poker. And I've been very, very active in the community. I've been completing my Supernova for the last three or four years. I think even four years, even more than that, maybe. So for a long time, uh, been a six max, successful six max cash game player over the course of the years. And, you know, that's kind of me being active in the community, both the English and the German, uh, having a blog, having videos, having live streams, having a following, uh, being a successful supernova grinder, all that kind of stuff, you know, that contributed to Pokestars uh, eventually approaching me and asking me if I would like to join Team Online. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've told this story probably a couple of times but I can't tell it often enough I guess because you guys will always like there's always going to be more people asking new people coming in who maybe don't know me so if you don't know me I hope now you know <laughs> uh, if you want to know more about me check out grindingitup.com that's my new website not even new it's been up months now <laughs> so it's going to bet with my nine high here I think he's going to fold ah he doesn't fold now Pocket sixes, this is going to be a jam. <laughs> What's the benefit of being a team online member? Can you share some? Well, unfortunately, I can't share mine, but you know, there are benefits, of course, and it's like you have a contract. Every single member has a, a, an individual contract, and uh, you know, that's, that's what you do. Uh, you're a sponsored player, and you will have to, you know, the details are gonna be different for everybody. And now this is a little bit tricky. I do want to win these 28. I want to win these 28 so bad. Chrissy, you got to fold. Come on. Yes, that's good. And pocket nines. I don't think Chrissy is actually uh, calling shoves lightly. It's a little bit of a problem. Are we flipping? So that's good. Hold nines. No, nine, nine ball. Ah, damn. Too bad. Okay, so we didn't win the 28 bucks, uh, which means that we'll have to return to the $1 spinning goes instead. But maybe we hit a jackpot there as well. I mean, who knows? 
Uh, just two bucks. Oh well. We didn't lose much. And we're on course. Three out of five. So next one is going to be four out of five. And then we're going to do one more. And then we'll call it a stream. <laughs> yeah, definitely got out play there. <laughs> I, I can't argue it. <laughs> Second place gets nothing, unfortunately. Yeah. Second place in spinning goes goes empty-handed. What did you do before poker? Studied or did you already work? I did work some couple of uh, university jobs and tutoring classes in math. Uh, I, I studied math. I actually have a diploma in that. Um, and I also had like the option to uh, to go into a, like a typical math job, like going to an insurance or uh, doing research at university, all that stuff. So um, that was my original plan or my original career path and I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it at all. So I was glad I found poker and um, managed to start, you know, building a living around it. So that's pretty cool. All right. This guy's just jamming every hand, but we can't do much about it. And fold the 10 8 off. <clears throat> Ace 3 suited, we're raising. If this guy jams, we're pretty happily calling this time. He's probably just jamming any two. I mean, he has been jamming <laughs> probably every single hand. And betting the ace. And betting 40 on the turn, I think. 40 40 and probably betting 80 on the river to get called by a pair of nines i think he's going to call with a pair of nines i'm going to predict he's going to call us with a pair of nines on that river there you go calls with a pair of nines he actually had a pair of tens so <laughs> i was wrong i was wrong he was one better uh oh, i was actually gonna shove this but, I mean, we could still get away with some cheap stealing, which doesn't work. And hope we check down our pair of eights. No, he doesn't want us to check it down, so we're going to fold. I can't, like, in cash it's tough to... Uh, I'm definitely calling this. In cash it's tough to... Uh, Oh, it's a pretty sweet flop. I like that one. And we hold, so that's nice. Um, getting three streets out of like ace three on uh, ace xx, it's pretty tough in cash. So it's pretty sweet that you actually. Uh, I'm actually gonna call this. Uh, we have the best hand. We have the best hand multi way. Now we just need to hold. Oh, a deuce. Yeah, so rake it in, rake it in. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Keep it coming. So. I don't know if you guys heard that, but. And that was the second one. All right, so two bucks. So we can move up to a $3 spin and go next. That's pretty cool. And spin for six. Nah, 28 was the biggest one. We could have won that, but we ran too bad. We couldn't do anything about it. And I'm going to check here and bet the flop with my gut shot. Uh, we get min raised. That sucks, but I think we have to call 20. And we're just going to check this down. Play your hand like a bluff catcher. And now he bets the river. So what kind of bluffs could he have? I think flush gets there. He could be betting an ace. So I'm going to check fold this. Don't be rude in chat borderline and anybody just be very friendly and spread the love <clears throat> the 
be nice to each other. I don't have a mod in chat yet, so I don't want to ban anybody or be mean. So behave yourself and be nice to everybody. Be nice and respectful. So this seems to be our last spin and go. If we win that, we actually book a profit of 50 cents. If we don't, well, we lose three bucks. Can't do much about it. All right, so uh, tomorrow's stream, I'm pretty open-minded. I think I'm gonna play. Um, Oh, tomorrow. Ah, oh, yeah. I get. I guess we gotta play some more spinning goes tomorrow. So because this the tomorrow ch tomorrow's challenge will include placing first and two spinning goes with the real money buy-in. Um, that's gonna be the next, and then win five real money ring game hands on a Sunday. Is that on the Sunday? Yeah, on the Sunday. And raising 7-5 suited. Pocket 10s, pretty easy raise. And calling a shove pretty happily or shoving against a 3-bet. Pretty big 3-bet. I think like with my experience so far, I would say that he has ace-king or ace-queen almost always. Um, I'm pretty sure that people are 3-betting large with ace-king. And three betting small with like their premium hands. So when you see somebody min clicking it back preflop, I'm much more afraid of them. Um, this time I'm pretty sure he has ace king and he did have ace king. <laughs> I definitely need a mod in chat for sure. Anybody want to volunteer for being a mod in my chat? Please hit me up. <laughs> Thanks, Trenzaika. Pocket fives, just checking down. No other chance to pick up this pot, I think. I'm just hoping to win showdown. And we could bet we could have bet the flop, I guess, but it's alright. So if anybody tells me how I can get people to get uh to make them a mod, I'll make them a mod for sure. They want to be. I got a lot of volunteers here, that's cool. Send me a message, tell me how to do it. I'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to this. <laughs> I know you wicked. He min raises the flop, we have a flush draw, easy call. I don't think we have fold equity. So I think we're going to bet the turn. I think he probably has some I don't know, weirdly played bluffs, I guess, when he checks this turn. Oh, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me check that. What can I do here? Oh. Yeah, I just added Wicked as a moderator. I know Wicked, Wicked for a long time from um, from Focus School Online. And I do trust another, I, I guess I'm going to be trusting another couple of mods maybe. So Wicked, you're a mod now. Do whatever you feel needs to be done, but I don't want to ban anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, honest about this. I'm just going to check. So borderline, if you behave and are nice to everybody, I'm fine with that. Let me check this down. So ace 10, we're going to jam. You know, I want to spread the love, so I want to not ban anybody if I can. I'll just try it 
this way. This is my style of doing things. King, queen, I uh, check jams. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It probably means a three or like a small pair, but I'm just gonna fold. <laughs> queen six, I'm going, to, I could actually defend this, but mm, close. Sevens, easy raise. And betting flop. Now this time I think we just have to bet flop. It's kind of like, I mean, it's a similar situation with the, uh, it was a similar situation with the pocket five. So we could have bet the pocket fives on the flop as well. I mean, it's probably not that different, but we do have a heart and a diamond, which is good. Now he pots it on the river. We have to fold. Pocket eights, this could be it. We could take this down now. Oh, even in chips. I'm gonna raise two hearts. At nine deuce, I usually don't play, but you know, since it's two hearts, I'm gonna play it. And I hit my deuce. So deuce never lose. And there we go. Nine deuce of hearts wins the pot. Yeah, I'm moving up to the higher spinning goals as I win. If I win. We managed to get up to the uh, seven dollar one. That was close though. We could have won 28 bucks for the Grand Up bankroll. Ace five is gonna be jam. Oh, that's nice. Good to know, Rolful Mad. Thanks for that. I'll check it out. I'm a noob. If you have any tips for me to uh, make these streams more enjoyable, I'll be all, all for it. I'll be all ears. Queen eight suited. I think this is gonna be close. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna peel here. I think this hand is good enough to just see a flop. Yeah. So it's not really a strategy per se. Space hippie. It's more like you know, if I win the spin and go, I'm, I'm winning two bucks if I win one. So I win effectively. I win one dollar. So the three dollar one costs me one dollar less. And I also have a chance at hitting, at hitting the, the jackpot and the bigger one. Like as soon as you move up the jackpot, chance for like a bigger buy-in, bigger price pool, or uh, for a bigger um, jackpot increases. So I want to move up and kind of play for at about the same rate. It, it's a little bit of a discount you could think of. So that's how I'm trying to do these. Instead of just investing three, seven, ten, uh, three, seven, fifteen, thirty bucks, just starting with one. At a time and then if I don't win anything I'll just drop down to the one dollar one that has worked pretty well so far we managed like twice so far in grinding it up we managed to uh, get them up to the thirty dollar ones and then bink uh, a total of three hundred bucks so so far we're about I mean with the other spinning goes I'm probably up a little bit more so I'm probably up about like three hundred bucks on the small spinning goes just starting with the double or nothing strategy and we managed to, I think I even managed to get there three or four times so far. It's pretty cool. And it's a lot of fun. It's a good project. It's kind of like the uh, the double or nothing on Zoom that I did in some of the previous Grinding It Up episodes. So you can check that, those out too. Is playing 20% of hands too tight? Well, it depends on what kind of format you play. Yeah, as Wicked says. I mean, if you, uh, if you play heads up, 20% is definitely too nitty. If you play six max, 20% is probably okay um but rather not so loose i'd say if you play 20 percent in full ring games that's probably on the verge of being loose i think so you know it depends it depends on what format you play king nine i'm going to flat i don't see any fold equity now i'm just going to see a flop here i think this is something that a lot of people don't do a lot of people just go ahead and jam here uh, i don't think it's great because you know i'm just going to try and see a flop and try and get to showdown if I have a, a hand that's showdownable, uh, play it as a bluff catcher pretty much, or try and realize my equity. But if I jam, I mean, he's not folding for the remaining stack there. So, I mean, the 9-7, that's pretty close, I guess. We have less than, yeah, I'm gonna jam. Um, but you know, if he raises and I, I have to I have to put in one big blind and I get one pot outs of one, two, three, uh, I just think that a lot of hands play a lot better if I just flat call them. 
<laughs> I would love to keep on streaming, guys, but I do have to make sure that I catch the uh, Poker School Online podcast. King Jack, I'm just going to flat as well, because that recording is going to start soon. Uh, I have to call the, the one bet here, my two overcards, and now I'm definitely folding. But, you know, we have to play Spin and Goes tomorrow, so I'm going to be back for some more Spin and Go action tomorrow with another stream. So don't worry. Uh, definitely flatting the queen five until we hit something that can be jammed. And now we're definitely betting. Uh, now we're definitely check folding, I think. I mean, we could bet this, but I just feel like he's not folding. Uh, we could have gotten him off that, but it's a little bit tricky. Uh, Jack Deuce, I think this is close. I'm going to raise fold. That's a pretty nice one. Pretty good flop. We're just going to bet half pot now. Bet a little bit bigger because he's going to have some 7 8 or 10 9, 10 8 type of hands, and we can jam the turn. Yeah, we're definitely going to jam the turn. Just hope that he calls with a 10 or with some draw, some 7. And he's tanking, which means that he has a tough decision. I guess he has a 10 or something like, I don't know, queen nine, I guess. Oh, well. What's happening? Why is the action freezing? Hello. What table theme are you using? Uh, I'm using the, uh, it's called Mercury theme. Hmm, somehow something froze right there. Oh. Well, it seems, it doesn't seem to be me. That's weird. Oops. Uh, queen do some folding. Do six, I'm folding. Queens, I'm not folding. Yeah, now we get it in. So Queens is a great hand to get in. Come on, bro. You have to call this. You get the right pot odds. Yeah, he calls. 10-9. Good flop. Clubs. Yeah, now we're safe. And we win. So we're up on the challenge today, which is nice. Couple of cents, <laughs> but we're up. So that's nice. All right, guys. Uh, that was grinding it up episode 111. I hope you were enjoying yourselves and you know as always um, Help me get the word out for the daily streams up until the 19th. Also make sure to check out team online week It's coming up next uh, We did complete the challenge. So there you go I'm gonna register for the uh, For the all-in shootout Yeah, I'm in 1,500 for first. That's nice. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next stream. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you see me streaming, I might do it without whole cards. Uh, with whole cards, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to dedicate more time to grinding it up and get the bankroll up to the 8K and maybe even above. Okay, guys, that's it. See you guys tomorrow and on Sunday. And uh, keep grinding it up, everybody. Goodbye.